a truly bipartisan act. Every Republican senator voted for the anti-Asian hate crimes piece of legislation, save one guy. Wait for it. Josh Hawley from Missouri. Matthew, what's what does he think his brand is going to be now? And has he lost all remaining credibility in that chamber, he of the clenched fist on one six? Well, I don't think he cares. Um, I, I think that having credibility in the United States Senate and doing something that's rational doesn't appeal to the Republican base. I mean, look what Ted Cruz has been behaved like over the, the I mean, there's a, there was, I worked with Ted Cruz. I'm just giving an example of the type of people that come to this. It, there used to be an expression was, why do people take such an instant dislike of Ted Cruz? And their answer is because it saves time. And the same is true of Josh Hawley. They don't care. And I don't think the voters that Josh, Josh Hawley wants to run for president of the United States, Josh Hawley is doing all this to position himself to run for president. This is who the Republican voters want. And I think Jason's right. All of these things are connected. And I think part of the problem in America today is America is not what it was 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years ago. And what's, what's happening now is, is the Republican Party has become the party of stop America's diversity, right? Stop the empowerment of groups in the country that are now a significant part of the country. I will give you an interesting fact. White heterosexual male Christians represent just over 25% of the country. White heterosexual male Christians. White heterosexual male Christians represent 80% of all the power levers in the country. Politics, the economy, all of the power letters. And what we're seeing is because it's dropped from 90 to 80, there's this huge pushback from people like Josh Hawley. This is why they're, I think, why they're opposed to the policing acts. All of this stuff is race, has race at its core. And it's not like people are saying, no, 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 you only need to be 30% of the power. It's like, we don't even want, they don't even want to drop to 75% of the power in the country. And to me, it's all at the basis of that is there is a group of people in the country that don't like the fact the country has changed and they want to do everything possible to keep it from changing anymore, or pushing back on it. And Josh Hawley is a leader of that. 